Yeah, it was this really interesting report that uh, came out from uh, some uh, papers that uh, American newspaper and, and public had gotten a hold of, which which detailed the Chinese government essentially lying about the response. And if you, if you think about this, what this really means about w- the one thing that we know for a fact is the Chinese lied about what they knew about the disease and they didn't people prevent people from traveling what they could have. And this is just more of a smoking gun showing that. And if the Chinese had been honest up front, think of the difference that would have happened. We could have got a month's earlier start in a vaccine, which means by now we wouldn't be rolling it out. Americans all across the country would already have it. And and we could have we could have started testing before the disease got here in an effective way. And so we could have done tracing to prevent a mass outbreak here. So literally, we could have prevented the global pandemic if China had been honest up front. And now we have more evidence that just shows that they weren't. Well, they're not even being honest now. To say that China, the epicenter, all of this has 95,000 cases to date and 4,700 deaths is preposterous, isn't it? Well, and look, and it's in, it's incredibly irresponsible to put out a vaccine which which you cannot prove meets the global acceptable standards for it's a vaccine that works. And we're going to be immunizing people all over the world and they're going to run around thinking they have protection from covid. And, and we don't know if that's actually true. That actually makes the problem worse. And there's a there's a real lesson here in geopolitics, you know, because we can't redo the past. But we have a Biden team wanting to come in. And wanting to say, well, we want to be have a constructive relationship with China. Well, that has to start with recognizing that China is lying, that they are that they are not interested in playing fair and that if you are nice to them, all that's going to show them is you're as weak and stupid as you were four years ago. I just worry if it could happen again, um, if, if, you know, even after all of this, that the same kind of thing could happen again, the same secretiveness could could, could could rule again and the world could be vulnerable again. What do you think? Well, absolutely. Look, I mean, we've been through this before. We went through it with SARS and, and, and several other diseases. So we've seen these recurring outbreaks in, in modern society and how quickly they move around. The difference is, is this is the first one that smacked us in the face, which was which had a higher lethality and which we didn't have therapeutics and vaccines for to deal with. So you, th- this is a, a lesson learned is you have to be prepared for these outbreaks and you cannot depend on countries like China giving you the early warning you need. Now, you combine that with the World Health Organization, which completely failed in its mission. And here we have a, a Biden team saying, well, we want to rejoin the WHO with none of the problems the WHO has been fixed. That that just furthers the, the, the problem. The sad news is that the, the Trump team was actually moving out and creating alternative global structures which would have provide real resilience. So, for example, they were going to work with all the research hospitals in uh, research uh, hospitals in in um, in Africa that we built and build out a, a real global uh, alert network and an assessment network. And I'm afraid that'll die stillborn with the new administration. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.